Hi, this is Paul Wagner, the software magician, and a question that's asked of me often is what is POP3 email? Here's traditional post office protocol. You place a piece of mail into your mailbox in your front of your house. It's picked up and delivered to the post office. That post office determines who the mail is and sends it to their nearest post office. That post office has trucks that takes the mail to the recipient's mailbox. That's very similar to the way post office protocol works, also known as POP3. You'll notice the same U-shape here. So when you create an email and then you press send receive, you are sending it up to your internet service provider who is hosting your email. That mechanism is called SMTP, Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. It's really a little different than POP3s, but it's all considered POP3 for all intents and purposes. Then that Verizon post office sends it electronically over to the recipient's post office, for example, Yahoo or Adelphia or SBC or any of the myriad of others. When the recipient hits their send receive, Yahoo sends it down to their inbox and then removes it from Yahoo. Very similar to traditional mailbox protocol. Now you might say, that's all fine and well, Mr. Magician. What does that mean to me? But let's go take a look at what that does mean to you. If I go to Tools, Email Accounts, and I view or change existing email accounts, you will notice that I have several email accounts. I am allowed more than one and can use them freely. I can change any of them. For example, here's class at Software Magician. I have your name. That's how your recipient will see you. You have to have an official email address. And you'll notice over here that the POP3 is the incoming email and the address for outgoing mail is SMTP, and in this case they're different. Many times they are the same. There's a user, you can't, that is fixed, as along with the password. And then you can always test the account settings at any time. Under more settings, you will also notice here that on the general tab, I'm allowed to name my account whatever I freely choose. And in some cases, our outgoing server requires authentication. That's true for the larger internet service providers. Now your internet service provider will show you the correct settings for the username, password, POP3, and SMTP headings. They will configure your email for you. Just simply give them a call. Everyone is different, so you will need their help. However, keep this in mind, all of them post the configuration in some FAQ that they have on their email site for just this purpose. So when I click Next, it takes me back to the list of all of my email accounts. You'll notice the class at Software Magician is what is called the default, meaning that when I send mail, this is the email account through which my mail will be sent. I can change that simply by clicking on any of these and setting it as default. There you are. I'll finish. We're back to our email. For more information, visit my website, www.softwaremagician.com, and download Seven Deadly Outlook Mistakes and How to Avoid Them. Look forward to connecting with you. Take care. Bye-bye.